Greetings, fellow cats. Thank you for being here. And this is Catfish Tyler. I am uh, coming up to do a recording here this evening, kind of just to do a review for some people who don't get a chance to watch my live feeds. And so for those that tune in later, we're going to go ahead and do a synopsis here. I'm going to have a little beverage while I'm doing it. And a toast to all longs on SoFi who purchased and got in on the 789 few days back and I, I told you we were going to see consecutive days going up and we have in fact and it says here so far higher high well it did happen we're going to get right over into it and show you how it happened and uh, we're going to do it now so let's get down here to this display capture we're going to pull it right up here underneath mine and then we're going to go like so and we're going to click on me and we're going to bring my, my picture down a little bit like that and then we're going to take a look at what I want to show you here and now. I think you'll like it. So if we get over to this page right here, you can see that indeed we had a very good day. And I, the main thing I want to show you first is here we are. Look at this low that it reached, 789. And then today they came for the low right out of the gate. That's the only way they could get it right away. Those shares were immediately gobbled up. They got that low right out of the gate within five minutes and it was done, over with. And it was within 20 minutes later, it was already at 823. That's when I came on and the thing was just skyrocketing right on up. And it's more or less what I expected because now we've had the low on the day of 789 and 829 here for the high. Then we got 833. Then we've got 847. And this is not true, 847. It's 858, right? You can see that close of day today, officially 8 p.m., 8.58. And folks, this is what I had told you was going to happen and start happening, was higher highs every single day or higher lows. Sometimes they're going to pull the high down below and get a, a lower low by a couple of pennies or so. And sometimes they'll be able to pull a, the low down lower like they did today. See what they did today? They got down below the 8.08. Got to 806, good for them. That's congratulations for them. And then they continued to lose 5% on top of the interest they're, they're paying on their borrowed shares. And uh, so uh, I want you to know that um, my eyes are very red here because I actually was out mowing the yard and uh, I mowed and then um, spun around. The wind blew a bunch of the dust particles right into my eyeballs and I tried to clear them out and uh, uh, get my vision a little bit better. and. But that's where we're at right now. But at least the yard is mowed. But I'm showing you some things I want to show you right now, folks, because I think it's very interesting uh, what we want to see here on this historical data. There's some very big similarities between the past and the present. So on this one here, I'm going to be showing you the present from this date, the 31st, and the high of 1170, and to the past on this date. Here, we're, here we go back to May the 1st. So the first thing I want you to see is that on May the 1st, I bring this up because this was the date that SoFi beat the street. Come down here. This was the date right here. Over here on the earnings, this was May the 1st. They reported and they beat the street estimates, right? And uh, EPS was good. And uh, that was very good for them. But on that day, which was May the 1st, you can see what happened. The day prior, the price was 623. May the 1st, it ran up to 654 and then a big attack, 125 million shares. The next day, they came at it with more, 115 million, knocked it down to 472. Next day, 64 million, knocked it down to 475. And by the way, look back here two weeks before, 10 days, 16 million, 18 million, 17 million. Those were the volume levels before, but boy, they came at it, knocked it all the way down to 459, right? There's the history on it. After that, folks, 459, it started recovering, as you can see. It was making nice gradual recoveries each day. Sometimes they pull the low back a little bit, but on this day, May the 15th, they piled in with a story from this guy, David Chiavrini, whose name should be David Chiapanzi. And uh, that guy's rating, folks, on the, 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 the ratings I've shown many before, but for those that are sort of new and getting into SoFi now, I'll show you. This is a guy that made the stock price on our SoFi, I say ours, 
but that's because of those who, who are with me and in, in, in investing. Chiaverini, right here he is. You're going to see his score right here as an analyst. And this person on May the 15th said this stock of SoFi was only worth $2.50 a share. This analyst with a zero star rating practically, he's rated 8,094 out of 8,525. That's the bottom of the barrel, folks, with barely a star. And only 108 out of 293 times has he made a profit, folks. That's worse than flipping a coin by far, even if you had a two-headed two coin, two sides, same folks. This is where he was, but that analyst was able to push the price down on this date to what I just showed you, folks. Incredible, almost unbelievable, really, that he could have that kind of power to make that thing drop like it did. But people fell for it, and they fell for it big, and the price went from four to from that five six fifty four down here on the day of the earnings all the way down to the lowest low four forty five. And look at the volume that helped push it down. 103 million shares on his downgrade, that pitiful guy there, right? And so anyway, that was when Ty got mad because I had told people that they should be buying it just a couple days before my first video, and I had actually bought it myself, and they, they tacked it down. I said, oh, yeah, all right, I'm going to start a, U a YouTube channel, and I started it. And that's when I began it right then and there. And uh, when I started that, I did it because I wanted people like you to know that buying this stock right now, and I started right here when the price was right here at the low, and I said, folks, get in on this, and it went over five that day, closed at 507, and I was telling you below five is a good price to get in, and then, folks, it just went right on up after that. You can see that continually up, continually up, continually up till it hit 1023, and that was after they had driven it down on May the 1st to the May the 4th for the 459, and then came at it again on the 15th to 445. And from that number 445, folks, that was a drop from this price of 654 of exactly 31% almost, almost exactly 31%. 654 to 445, do the math, you'll see I'm right. That's the exact same now I'm coming and correlating to this 1170 run up we just saw. And two days before, they ran it down to 894 all day Thursday. They ran this thing down. And I told you it was being accumulated this time. And now it went to 1170. And then from 1170, folks, over this term, they've done the same thing down to this price right here. Do the math. It's the exact same amount almost. This is 32.4 or 5% down. The last time, 31.5 or 7. So, folks, this is the exact same rundown done in a different fashion, but still over the same time period. If you look at it, the last time the earnings came out on May the 1st, by the May the 15th, they had it down to 445, 15 days later. And this time they did almost a repeat of it, right? Look at the earnings that came out. They ran it up to 1170, and then it was two weeks later. What do you know? Like clockwork, boom. After that, 1170 price, August 1st. And look where we are, August 23rd. It's now been... And this, by the way, this price was on the 18th. So that's the 18th after the first. So it took this time 18 days to get to the low. Last time, it took them only 14 days, right? So there you go, or 15 days. 15 days, this time 18 days. But they got to that low. And then when it got to that low, back here, I'm telling you about of that 445, folks. When it got there, after that, it went straight up 55%. A 55% gain to this 1023 number that they got to. And then when it got to 1170, that was a 60% gain from 445 at 1170. I think that's right, let's just see. 1170 minus 445, 11.70 minus 4.45 equals, divided by 11.70 equals times 100 equals. And that is 61.96% gain off of the 445, that 1170 right there. And then look what they did. They ran it down the exact same amount here. I'll do the math for you again, all right? It's a 789 from 1170. Let's see how much that is, all right? Seven point, all right, now first 1170.70 minus 7.89 equals, divided by 11.70 equals, all right, uh, uh, times 100 equals, and there it is, 32.5%. A 32.5% drop this time. 
You see the similarity, folks, to the May 1st? Exactly almost the same from May 1st to May 15th. 445 and the price, I'm telling you, folks, if you do this, you'll see. And I'm going to do it for you right now again for those that haven't seen it before. But the high, as I said, before May 1st came out, on May 1st, the high was 654 And it took them that time to get it in down to 445 And so there was a 32% drop now this time, 325 And the last time the drop was almost identical, I'll show you, 654 Minus 4.45 equals, divided by 6.54 equals uh, times 100 equals 31.95. 32%, folks. So does this make sense to you how history is just probably just repeating itself all over again in the same fashion, same manner? And the last time when they got it down to that price of 4.45 and it went up to 11.70, don't you see that's possible again that they could do the same thing right now? Just in the same fashion, the same slow, meticulous way, and make it happen though in another month, month and a half, and see the dang thing up another uh, 55%. It could easily happen, folks, easily. And it's already starting to develop right now with three days in a row with a higher high. And I already told you this was going to happen if you watched my videos earlier. So there you go, folks. That's what I wanted to bring to your attention today about SoFi. It's repeating its course of history. And by the way, from that last uh, time when it was at 445, it only took, and I'm going to show you this, folks. It was the date that they had at the below, May 15th, 445. Look at one month later at June the 15th price. Look at it right here, June the 14th, not even the whole month, 1023, up 55%, folks. And so now we've seen this thing run down again, the same amount as I've just proven to you. And if we see this thing from 789, go up from that number 55% and even 60 to what it did uh, there, uh, then we're going to be in good shape, folks. And I believe it will happen. It's just going to take time. Just like, just like everybody that's raising their targets now, do a Google search right now. Put in a Google search, and I'm going to end it on this. Google search, Google, and that's going to be SoFi price target, target raised. And then we're going to be done with this. And I'm going to get it up and post. And hopefully you can give it some likes and you can share it with folks. Look at all these people. We got these Piper Sandler folks raising from 8 to 9. <laughs> there certainly sure are. That was three days ago. They're chasing the heck out of this. Look down here. Look at all these raises six days ago. Raised from, it says here, they do it backwards from 12 to 10. But see, they're, they're, it says here they raise their price target. From, see how they show the big number first and then the 10 afterwards? I like it's a little deceptive. Why don't you just say they raised it from 10 to 12? That's what a raise is. This is so funny how they try to word things. I show you these things because that's the way they try to do them. And you'll see it over and over. Look at here. Here they raise theirs truest financial. This guy here, he knows what he's talking about. He's got a great rating. Andrew Jeffries has raised from $11 to 16 just three days ago, do you see these things, folks? Everybody, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan Chase has raised from 8 to 10. And even Yahoo has recently raised themselves. The price estimate on Yahoo has been raised on their price. On the main price, right here, they've raised it to 10.28 from $8.11. For months, they had that number. So everybody's raising their targets. Uh, it's no wonder that the right price is rising. And I, can, I, can, I believe we're going to see a repeat of this history that I showed you of all of these days from that lowest 445, you can count how many days the things went up. It was incredible, folks. Here it did it. You can see it from May the 15th. Look at 445, up one, up two, up three, three out of four, four out of five, and then five out of six, and then uh, six out of seven, down one, six out of eight, then 7 out of 9, 8 out of 10, and it just goes up, up, up. Folks, I'm telling you right here, it was 18 out of 21 days up until it hit 10, 28. 18 out of 20 days, 18, and it hit 10, 28. And that's what I'm showing, 10, 23 right there. So all of those days up, same thing this time I say is going to happen. And it's going to be fun to watch. So that's it. I'm going to shut this down. I thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to call it a day. I think that I've got this done correctly and the audio was right and everything was set up right. And so thank you for being here. And now I'm going to let King Cat say farewell. 
So everybody, we thank you for being here tonight. We do appreciate you being here and watching King Cat Tyler tell you what he thinks about this stock and the history of it and why it's so interesting that it could certainly repeat itself, just continuing slowly higher and higher and higher. That's a so fire flyer, and thank you for being here again. I want to thank you, and I hope you have a very happy evening. I hope you have a very prosperous week, month, and year ahead of you. I hope that you have a very healthy life. And most of all, as always, I hope that you are surrounded with love. So that's it. We're going to say toodles. And thank you again for being here to check out King Cat Tyler, me, King Cat. And I'm out of here, folks. Have a great night, everybody, and a great day tomorrow. Bye-bye.